Hello, my name is Abhishek Bhatta. I'm currently a PhD student at University of Cape Town, South Africa. And I am Amit Mishra, an associate professor with the Department of Electrical Engineering at University of Cape Town. Telecommunication systems have evolved over the past few decades to a very mature level. Given the sophisticated processing blocks in a modern telecommunication system, there are many alternate uses that one can put these blocks into. In our current work, we started with the hypothesis that we can use the channel equalization block to sense the immediate environment around a cell phone. Channel equalization is a block in every modern telecommunication system, which is used to filter out the effects of dynamic channel or environment from the signal. We have tested our hypothesis on both GSM or 2G and LTE based channel equalization blocks. And we have shown that this can be used to get information about events taking place around the cell phone. This is a receiver only system and we have used different software defined radio platforms as the device on which we have implemented this system. We call this system communication based sensing or commsense and we have been granted a British patent for this invention, details of which are given below. The current commsense system we have implemented is done using GSM mobile communication proper popularly known as 2G. We, choose GSM, we chose GSM for the current implementation because this is a protocol that provides maximum coverage in South Africa. Every 2G data frame has a set of bits no, which are known to both the transmitter and the receiver. These known bits are used to find out how much the channel is affecting the signal and this in turn is used to filter the unknown bits carrying the information. The Comsense system extracts the channel impulse response from the received signal using training sequences, using the training sequence in order to predict any changes in the immediate surrounding of the receiver. As we have just discussed, Comsense is useful to detect events of interest as long as we know the events are priority and have trained our system device for it. In search for applications for this system, we considered building monitoring aimed towards elderly care would be a suitable use. In a situation in which there is an elderly couple in a residence, they need to make sure that there are no unexpected movements around the place. The existing solution for this is a CCTV complemented by an IR or infrared camera. However, most people will not feel comfortable with being videoed all the time. Here lies the biggest selling point of Comsense for this kind of applications. Comsense is an underdetermined system, which means it does not capture enough information to give a picture of the environment. It can only detect events of interest for which it has been trained. The current system is implemented on a Raspberry Pi 3 as a processing unit and a software-defined radio device known as Blade RF. Blade RF is a radio receiver that can receive frequencies from 300 MHz to 3.8 GHz. We intend to implement it on a device called Lime SDR, which is far more superior to Blade RF and lower in cost. The frequency range for Lime SDR is from 100 kHz to 3.8 GHz, providing a wider range of application. After a basic processing that includes extracting the channel impulse response from the GSM frames, timestamping them and creating a new timestamp protocol data unit or PDU frame. Uh, the data is sent wirelessly over TCP to a laptop where the, processing, where the post processing analysis is done and the prediction results are as shown. In the next few minutes, um, we will show a short demonstration of the system working in real time. We have named this current experiment as intrusion detection. In this, we have already trained our system to detect if an extra person approaches the vicinity. During the test, one person was sitting next to the receiver and there, there was a cleaning lady working next to the wall. This can be assumed as a normal condition in a room. In addition to the above normal condition, we trained the system to detect when another person tries to intrude the vicinity by walking past the door. We can see 
the system print out intrusion whenever a person walks past the receiver and the prediction go, goes back to no intrusion when the person is not in the vicinity of the room. In this short video, we demonstrated the potential of our invention, which we call ComSense. This is a pseudo radar system. It worked in radio frequency wave domain, but does not have the sensitivity of a proper conventional radar system. However, this can be trained to detect events of interest and hence is useful for usages where the events to detect are well known. For example, detecting unfamiliar activities in a facility, detecting unfamiliar items like hidden weapons, detecting, detecting some kind of certain threshold of crop damage, etc. We have tried the system on the inexpensive HDR dongle and on Blade RF. The sensitivity of the device that we implemented on determined the sensitivity of the ComSense system. Recently, we have got a donation of the Lime Micro HDR which is more sensitive and powerful than Blade RF and surprisingly it is less costly. We are porting the application onto Lime Micro SDR and expect better performance. Lastly, if you are interested in our system and want to explore opportunities of collaboration and angel funding, then please get in touch with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.